Hi guys, Gabby here for ID8 TV and I'm here talking to Will Forte and Jen Crittenden and we are talking about Housebroken season two. This show is just so funny. And Jen, I have to ask as co-creator, what trauma did you inflict on your pets that you felt <laughs> a, a group therapy session for pets would be beneficial? Well, I hope that I didn't, <laughs> I have a lot to confess. I, I don't think that, oh, oh, now I sound defensive. I, I think that any, any being could benefit from therapy. And also just because I don't understand what my pets are doing sometimes. And I wish I knew why, like, why is this happening? Mm -hmm. uh, I think, and I think a lot of pet owners feel that way. And, and also would like to know the sort of the even deeper thoughts about what the pets think about life in general. So it was sort of a natural I just and I love animals so it was a it was kind of a natural fit it was just a natural fit like you said I know my I have a puppy right now and I'm just like oh no he would definitely probably benefit from a therapy session mm -hmm. <laughs> and do you have pets well I do I have two dogs one is an Australian shepherd named Mudbutt <laughs> and one is a kind of a, a lab mutt uh, Ross okay so so no turtles no turtles. Okay. No, 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 no. No tortoises, nothing like that. Nope, so nope. <laughs> then what? Just the dogs. Just the dogs. So what's the inspiration for Shell then? Where did that that character come from in you? They ju they had written this it was such a fun pilot to read and and I don't know, just just from doing Saturday Night Live, you have a bunch of voices floating around in your head and this one kind of just seemed like, "Oh, I think this might be an interesting voice to try for this and they they liked it when i first pitched it so yeah it was a pretty pretty easy process <laughs> jen was it that easy he's i mean he's he's making it sound easy i mean i think he did like years and years of creating all these amazing voices and then this one popped up because then it was it was like divine intervention because we didn't know what shell was going to sound like we had heard a million auditions where the jokes were falling flat and we just felt like we hadn't written a funny character and what's going on we thought it was funny but it's clearly not and then when we heard that will was interested we were like oh my god yes get get him and then we'll write whatever he wants like just get him and then <laughs> when he read shell he knew exactly it was like he read our minds because that is how we heard it in our heads and he did it perfectly so yeah so it was just a match made in heaven which speaking of matches made in heaven are we going to see an epic love story for shell this this season oh we do yes we do have an epic <laughs> love story for shell yes it's it's i mean it is epic okay. there's a giant in burning inferno in the hills and, and then it takes place at the beach and it's like all over the place. I don't know if geography is part of an epic. I don't know why I went there, but it's great. It's I, I feel like it is part of an epic, right? You need the geography, the locations. So so you you have this epic love story for Shell, which is very exciting. A lot of and emotional journeys for, for Shell, yes, uh, be it yes. romantic or just inner uh, journeys of the mind. I yes. uh, get Shell getting to uh, uh, answer some some uh, some questions that, that you know are just exploring his own uh, inner workings. Yeah. yeah. And is there any topics in season important two? Important stuff. Yeah. Important. important. <laughs> Very important in pet therapy. Yes. <laughs> but are there any important topics that you guys get to dive into in season two that you were really excited to, you know, under this umbrella of comedy, sometimes we do get to talk about more serious things. Is there anything that you guys were excited to bring to the table this season? Well, absolutely. In fact, that I mean, he was he was kidding, but serious. The the story about Shell is really because he's he can be such a narcissist and 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 he um, he I, w I don't want to give anything away, but he he discovers that he has some flaws that he wants to sort of uh, figure out and work on. And so he ends up finding his father and trying to work through through some father issues. And I think everybody in our writer's room has had <laughs> experience with that. So um, there are some other therapeutic issues coming up. I'm trying to think in general, well, Honey and Chief experiment with having a, a third in their relationship. So, but I don't think that's really a mental health thing. That's more just exploring polyamory, which was kind of fun for them, I think. Um, <laughs> but what else? Um, I. Oh, well, oh, we have a great story um, uh, with Max where he kind of learns about his authentic self and a little bit about his sexuality, which was, um, uh, it's a great script and it's a really, really funny episode. And so, yeah, I'm very excited about that. He, uh, he meets this other pig um, who's played by Andrew Reynolds and it's fantastic, so. Well, it sounds like you guys have a- Andrew 
smiles. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so good. And he does a really great deep voice, which he said was fun for him because usually people ask him to go high with his voices, I guess, because he has got this yeah. singing voice that can go high, you know, uh-huh. but um, it's he's great. He's so funny. <laughs> well, it sounds like we have so much waiting for us in season two. Thank you guys so much for stopping by and chatting with us. And this is Gabby with ID8 TV.